Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and today for you guys, I'm bringing you a different sort of video. Today, I bring you guys an unboxing um, and kind of like a little bit of a discussion today. It's not just an unboxing, but um, sort of a discussion as to why I bought a PlayStation Vita. Now, I feel as if these days, uh, the PlayStation Vita gets a lot of smack. It gets bashed upon a ton. Um, and this is a system that I wanted for the longest time now, I would say like ever since it first uh, got released, I, I can't even remember, was it like 2012, 2013, I think it was 2012, um, but it came out a little while ago and at first it was really great, it had a lot of first party support towards it, Sony were like hyping this thing up, and now we're into 2016, and first party support I believe has been abandoned. Uh, by Sony. Uh, third party companies are still making games uh, for the system and whatnot, but in terms of this thing getting its like own exclusives and whatnot, yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Kind of sucks because this is an amazing piece of hardware, of course, from what I've actually seen. I've never actually seen one of these in real life. I <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, but first of all, I'll just give you basically my reason as to why I picked up one of these systems. So I've owned a Nintendo 3DS now for about, uh, I believe, three years. I absolutely love the system. It's clear to see that the 3DS is the most popular uh, gaming handheld when it comes down to it. It, it, like, it is just immensely successful. Uh, and Nintendo have an amazing piece of hardware uh, within their hands. They've sold, I believe, close to 30 million uh, 3DSs worldwide, if not more. I'm not really too sure, but last time I checked, it was like around uh, 30 million, 28 million, something like that. Uh, and it's pretty clear to see that the 3DS is the dominant handheld. But to me, for me personally, to suit my preferences, like I like the 3DS, I like the games that the 3DS has, I like what, you know, like the th what the 3DS can do. But the PS Vita has always been kind of more appealing to me. You're probably asking, well, why did you get a 3DS and not a Vita? Well, that's, that's you know, well, I, I wanted to play Dream Drop Distance, right? <laughs> that's, that's the first initial reason as to why I bought a 3DS. Um, but the Vita, the reason why I got the Vita is um, basically being able to play games like Ratchet and Clank, uh, Sly Cooper, you know, those trilogies. Not so much the Jack and Daxter trilogy because that's, I, I hear the port is terrible for the PS Vita, but uh, basically to be able to play Sly Raccoon, um, all three of the games, Ratchet and Clank, all three of those games, um, PlayStation 1 games like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, um, and on top of that, uh, the PS Vita exclusives, like you have, um, you got Tearaway. Tearaway's not really an exclusive. Um, you've also got games like, um, you know, you've got uh, Resistance. Uh, you got the Rayman games and stuff. Like, all those games are fantastic. Like, they're absolutely freaking fantastic. Um, and just to play all those games on the go is something that appeals to me. Uh, plus, I mean, you got the PSP game library. You got, like, uh, Daxter, Secret Agent Clank. You got, like, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Grand Theft Auto uh, Vice City Stories. Like, I know a lot of people say that this system has little to no games, but to me personally, I, I don't see that. Like, I've been spending the last week thinking about picking up the system and like looking at the different games that I can get. I've been going through like the PSN store um, and I'm like, damn, there's just so many games there. What is appealing to me most is definitely the PlayStation 1 games that I can play on this system because being able to play PlayStation 1 games on the go is, it's a huge buying factor for me personally as I'm a long time PlayStation fan. I grew up with PlayStation. Um, the downsides to this is, of course, yes, once again, it's not getting uh, first-party support. The other thing is the memory sticks for this. You cannot use the normal micro SDs. You actually have to use a PlayStation certified one specifically for the Vita, and they're fucking expensive. Uh, I, I purchased a 32 gig one that's still yet to come, uh, and that costed me like 122 bucks to import it, 
uh, ship it with the tax, with the everything. 122 bucks. Are you hearing me correctly? <laughs> For a fucking SD card, dude. 32 gigs, though. But, yeah. Uh, don't expect, like, if you're going to pick up a Vita these days, yeah, don't expect to buy uh, many physical games. Because it's very hard to come across physical games. Uh, I bought this knowing that, basically, I'm going to be getting most of my games from the, uh, the PlayStation Store. I already know that. I'm fully aware of that. That's fine to me, because dragging around little game cases is kind of annoying. Uh, so yeah, basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just be downloading all my games, have them on my system, I can just take it wherever I go. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Um, and also, I'm going away uh, to America for like three weeks coming up in April, and I thought this would be the perfect system to kind of, you know, win me over, kind of distract me in the meantime. Really though, that is my reason. PlayStation Plus is also another great reason to get a Vita. You get free games every month. You can't complain about it. That's, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, you've also got Killzone Mercenary, I forgot to mention. Fantastic game. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Fantastic game. You've got the PlayStation 4 Remote Play. Pretty good, but then again, like if you own your own TV, you got your own TV in your room, there's no real reason to use the Remote Play. I feel as if Sony focused way too much on the remote play and not the actual games for the system they're more like oh this is a device that you can play ps4 games on if you're in the same room and somebody else is using the tv like it's fully advertised uh, i i wish this would focus as you guys can see it's fully advertised on the box and everything and this is something that sony focused on a lot anyway i've talked for six minutes now that's my reasons uh let's get into the unboxing like i mentioned before i've uh, i've never ever ever seen uh, one of these in real life. Um, so I'm, I'm actually really excited to see how these uh, actually look, how they feel. Uh, this is the 2000 series, so this is the most recent Vita. And it's probably going to be the last model that Sony makes. I can't see Sony coming out with uh, another uh, Vita model. Who really knows though? Um, so yeah, I'm very interested. Quite excited, to be honest. Quite excited. Good thing about the uh, 2000 series is it's lighter, it's slimmer. Uh, the battery lasts for about an hour and a half longer than the very first model, which is great. So I just took it out of the box. This is it right here. Um, not the actual Vita. This is another box. So it's a box with inside a box. Um, and also the 2000 series has a uh, one gigabyte of memory built in. Not the greatest, but it's better than having nothing. Am I right? So the first things we got is uh, we got basically uh, pamphlets. Like with any console you buy, you're getting pamphlets. Power cables, um, this right here is a uh, micro USB cable, yep. And here it is. Um, you guys can see my camera in the reflection, but it looks very nice, very sleek. I like it, this is actually really cool. Uh, it is very light, very, very light. Obviously, the great thing about the Vita is the analog sticks. I mean, this is a massive, massive buying point. Uh, this is currently the only handheld that has dual analog sticks. And, um, you know, it, it just makes me so sad that this thing didn't do as well as initially planned out to be because um, I can't wait to actually jump into the system. I will eventually do another video talking about the Vita towards my thoughts after actually playing it, having a hands-on experience. But anyway guys, uh, that's basically it, PlayStation Vita right here, unboxing my reasons towards it. Uh, like I just mentioned though, expect a video coming out probably in the next sort of three months, um, where I'll kind of talk about the Vita again, kind of how I feel about it if I'm still playing it um, in three months, and what I initially think overall. So, um, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, if you're thinking about getting a Vita, uh, then I would say pick one up. Make sure you got some good reasons to do so, um, and whatnot. Otherwise, guys, I've been cynical. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.